Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Palomino HS3210. This camper is compatible on a one ton or bigger truck with an eight foot bed. On the outside you'll notice we have the cool gray high gloss gel coated exterior fiberglass. The Palomino is all aluminum frame and they use the high dense styrofoam insulation here. It has a built in storage compartment on this back wing that will sit behind your bed. The jacks are gonna be electric jacks. They come with this remote where you can use the buttons in the middle to run the jacks all together or individually on the outside to level the camper out. We have this rear awning that covers the entrance door here. It is a power awning with the LED accent lights here. Oversized grab handle to help you in and out of the camper. We have a full-size entrance door equipped with a built-in window and a full-size screen door as well. This camper has the Max Series bumper, which has storage built into it and the additional step that folds down. We have this motion sensor porch light, but right above that, it is gonna be a prep for a backup camera or observation camera, so you can add that there, so you can see behind you the entire time when traveling. As we move around to the side, we are gonna have your on-demand water heater, which is a tankless system. It's gas only, but about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. Down below is going to be your dump station for your gray and black tank. We have your furnace vent here. And actually right up top, we also have a prep for a roof ladder. It is a telescoping roof ladder you can add, hook it in there to get up on the roof. We have your cable satellite connections, 110 outlets. This is a 30 amp unit and it comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. We have your outside shower with hot and cold water here. 30 pound LP tank bottle, and that will be filled by the Outpost RV. We have your water connections, city water up top. So if you're at a campground, hook your water hose up here and that'll pressurize the lines for you. Your fresh water tank, if you're dry camping or boondocking, you can fill up your fresh water tank, turn on the water pump and use that water. As we move to the front here, this toggle switch is actually gonna be for a blue light on the cap that you'll see in just a little bit. We have a 12 volt cutoff switch, so if the camper's in storage, you can kill all 12 volt power to the battery. This is simply a holder for your seven way cord that comes with it. So the other side, you can hang it in here. We also have a direct line to the battery. So if you wanted to add additional solar or a battery charger, you could connect it right there. And the camper comes with a double sided seven way male cord to plug in here. Then that'll go all the way back, plug into the back of your truck to run your clearance lights while traveling. As we move around to the front side here, we have your fiberglass cap. With that blue accent line, it's got the windshield built into it. Over here, as we move around on the passenger side, actually right underneath, I would like to point out that we have your 100 amp hour lithium battery. And the camper is also equipped with 400 watts of solar that is mounted on the roof already. On the slide room, we have another power awning over here, giving you tons of space underneath it with the same LED accent lights, speakers outside that light up blue, and this will be an access panel for your 12 volt refrigerator. That concludes our outside walkthrough of the Palomino HS3210. Now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, we'd also like to demonstrate these white LED lights that you can turn up and down from the inside, these accent lights. Also, as soon as you walk into the camper, there is a storage compartment down below they have built-in fishing pole rod storage and extra storage underneath the step there as well. As we enter inside, we have a storage compartment over here on the left-hand side. Right up above that is your solar controller. Since we have that 400 watts of solar, in the center is gonna be the dial for those white LED lights. On the right-hand side is your digital thermostat for the on-demand water heater to turn that on and off and adjust the temperature. Right up above that, we have a 110 outlet. On the left side is your main control panel, so you can see how full and empty your tanks are. There is the water pump switch. Your holding tanks have 12 volt heating pads on them as well. Light switches, and then also to run your awnings in and out. As we go inside, you'll notice that this model is gonna have the theater seating that recline and have the white accent lights as well. They have these tables built into the cup holders for you. Window up above. We also have your 12 volt refrigerator built into the slide room. 
there's a very unique feature with this 12 volt refrigerator and that is that you can open it on both sides of the door so you can open it this way here and you can also open it from the other side as well over here on the left either way that will open right back by the entrance door we are going to have some built-in storage again with that uh, extra white led light tv right above the entrance door and that is equipped with a swing out bracket so you can move that around this is a dry bath model we have the rear kitchen back here you have overhead storage your stereo which is am fm and also bluetooth so you can sync your phone to it we have your microwave here decorative backsplash range vent that will vent to the outside we have a three burner stove and the oven as well storage down below and your furnace down on the bottom left hand side we have your breakers and fuses and your converter some storage drawers we have your large single bowl sink here it has this cover on it that you can use as a drying rack or also for prep space as well it has the pull out sprayer and also it comes with the solid surface countertops here on the back wall moving up to the bedroom area is some more storage built in we have a thermostat for your furnace and now we will take a look inside the bathroom area again this is going to be a dry bath we have your toilet directly inside lots of storage over here up top we are going to have your max air vent fan that is a multi-speed vent fan in the shower area we have a skylight up above shower curtains that pull across and the corner shower pan here with the sink we are going to have storage underneath that we have your single bowl sink in here again with the storage down below and then we have the medicine cabinet right up above we'll go up and take a look in the bedroom area another unique feature with palomino is that they use a residential size queen mattress it is a true 60 by 80 queen mattress up here you're going to have the headboard that goes all the way around over here on the right hand side we have the storage compartment which has a bar or a rod in it for hanging storage and at the bottom it is going to have a panel that will lift up and you actually get more storage underneath that panel right there we have foot locker storage over here on to the right windows on both sides 110 and 12 volt charge ports on both sides we have that windshield that has the screen to pull down storage over here as well more foot locker storage and extra storage on the left hand side it is also equipped with another tv up in the bedroom area these are 12 volt tvs that come with a swing out bracket as well we have speakers up top and your max air vent above the bed as well so this is palomino's dry bath model this is the hs 3210 we have the rear kitchen back here i appreciate you guys watching if you have any questions feel free to contact myself or henry at 866-338-9845 thank you guys for watching and have a great day